this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog! Now this time we're going to be looking into the 23rd episode of the second season of The Muppet Show, which features the one and only John Cleese. And I'm sure that John Cleese is a familiar name with you guys, or if not, then it is a guarantee that you guys have seen a movie that has John Cleese, or even a TV show. But to specify uh, more clearly about him, John Cleese is one of the main members of Monty Python's Flying Circus. And for a while, he has made a huge splash in there, and also appearing in many of the movies, including Monty Python and the Holy Grail, The Life of Brian, and The Meaning of Life. Soon after his career with Monty Python, he would go on to still create many uh, movies and appearing in some TV shows. Most notably, he has been in, uh, like, he actually created the movie A Fish Called Wanda, which is still considered one of the greatest comedies and one of the best movies ever made, or at least, like, like it's somewhere in, like, the top 50s and the top 100s, um, but also, at the same time, he has appeared in many of the big, like, many of the big-name movies, including, uh, some James Bond films as Q, he was in some Harry Potter films, and he was also in the Shrek films, as uh, Fiona's dad. Now, some other movies that are worth mentioning that he was in, uh, some of these would also include Rat Race. Um, honestly, I love that. It, un an amazing comedy. He was also in An American Tale, Five Will Goes West, as uh, Cat R. Wow. Uh, some other ones, if I can find one. Well, he actually did a, a special guest appearance in The Great Muppet Caper. Uh, that and also he was in George of the Jungle as an ape called Ape. Uh, he also appeared in other recent movies as well. Uh, he appeared in the 2011 Winnie the Pooh, Legend of the Guardians Owls of Gahul. He appeared in Planes. Uh, he co-wrote the original draft of what is now DreamWorks The Croods and so much more. He is absolutely uh, one of the best things that ever came out of British comedy. And going into the episode that he was in, this is actually fantastic. This was really a great episode. And here's actually an interesting tidbit about the John Cleese episode is that he really wanted to be in The Muppet Show. Unlike how he actually portrayed himself in the episode, he really wanted to be in The Muppet Show. So much so that he actually helped co-write this entire thing. Like, pretty much showing his position of how he actually, that he doesn't want to be in the show, and how all these crazy things are going on at the same time that forces him to actually stay in the show, and it's actually great. What really made this fantastic is that, considering that we are dealing with uh, one of the members of the Monty Python crew, and considering like that weird, oddball style that Monty Python has, it actually fits very well with the Muppet style. So like when you blend, like when you blend these two together, you actually create um, like this really interesting and oddball brand of humor that like you can pretty much get it only in both. But seeing this combination work together, it's actually fantastic and honestly the entire highlight of this episode is actually John Cleese and there are a lot of moments that like they are like at the most like they are like weird oddball moments like mostly where John Cleese plays the straight man and like he doesn't want to be on the show but like all the all the situations that happen surrounding him leave him no choice but to appear on the Muppet show uh, but at the same time, there are some times when, um, like, like, in the sketches that he does appear in, like, uh, there, like, he actually does appear in, uh, Pigs in Space, where suddenly, like, he got the wrong memo, and, like, he has to play as a, like, he suddenly appears as a pirate. And, like, you got this weird traction, like, you got this weird connection going on, like, when we see, like, Link trying to handle this situation, and, like, you got John Cleese trying his best to be a pirate, where he also has this parrot who pretty much acts like his wife in a way. And then, at the, but probably the best thing that ever came out, the best sketch of them all, would probably be the ending bit. Because um, what it is is actually a parody moment of The Muppet Show, because at the end you always get this musical number, rather it be with the Muppets and all that stuff, but we got John Cleese like pretty much denying, refusing to do a sketch number, but 
Kermit was so determined to get a musical number out of John Cleese. So, like, no matter what, like, he would have him dressed up in many different costumes, try many different styles, but John Cleese, no matter what, would keep telling him no, and ultimately, like, like, he would have to be surrounded by the Muppets singing to dream the impossible dream. It's like, you got this entire setup, and it works out so beautifully. But, uh, this is not to mention as well that some of the other stuff happening as well, they, they actually work out great. I mean, uh, the backstory, technically, what we got is that, um, we got Gonzo appearing, and he wanted to do, uh, one of his stunts where he actually catches a bowl, uh, catches a cannonball with his hand. He actually did catch it, and he did survive. However, the sacrifice is that he had to have this really long arm. And throughout the entire episode, it's just Gonzo trying to deal with this arm. And I think it ultimately paid off well when John Cleese tried to help Gonzo out. Um, technically, there isn't really a conclu- Like, I felt like the only problem with it is that technically there isn't really a conclusion with it, where we don't see uh, what happened to Gonzo afterwards, or how he fixed himself up, getting, like, uh, his arm short again. But at least, like, the, the whole bit with Gonzo with a long arm, it really was worth it just for that bit with John Cleese trying to handle the situation for Gonzo. It was honestly fantastic, and you definitely do have, once again, like a total feel of John Cleese's involvement with this episode in particular. Um, but with the rest of the episode, I gotta say, there really isn't a lot worth remembering, I must say. I mean, like, yeah, there, like, it tries to do a lot of stuff, like, uh, you got, like, a small Muppet news flash. uh, you also got, like, a few songs here and there, like, uh, Miss Piggy singing Wait Waiting at the Church, and, like, the opening number with the, the jug band singing Somebody Stole My Gal. Um, but actually there is one moment that doesn't have John Cleese that is actually worth worth remembering is actually Two Lost Souls where you actually have Robin and you have Sweetums pretty much doing this duo and honestly it works out beautifully like we know the contrast of like the giant monster and the little guy so it's definitely perfect that you got like sweet like the like a large character like Sweetums and then someone tiny like Robin and like, it honestly works out beautifully. Now, there have been reports, like, in, like especially, like, for Jim Henson fans, you would remember back in The Frog Prince, uh, they did something similar with Robins and Sweetums, but seeing this again, it actually does feel fantastic. It does feel, uh, you know, like, it, it's one of those sketches that you wonder, like, why don't they do this more often? Like, why isn't like, the dynamic duo of Sweetums and Robins an actual thing. It's actually, you know, it really does make the musical bit really effective. So, I would say that overall, this is all about the special guest star. John Cleese really wanted to be prominent in this episode. He really wanted to help out make a great and memorable episode of The Muppet Show with his involvement, and it actually works out very well. You get, uh, you pretty much got the total wackiness of The Muppet Show, plus you have a bit of that Monty Python feeling to it, and that's what really makes the wacky humor that The Muppets are known for to really, like, put, like, you know, really push it to another level. It really does work out very well, and, it, it, like, honestly, it's really one of those highlight episodes where the special guest star really does stand out, and it absolutely is fantastic. Now, I will say, however, that there are, like, some moments that do happen that doesn't have John Cleese. They're not really worth, like, they're not really worth that much remembering for, but at least, like, the when we got John Cleese, like, it is absolutely fantastic, and it really makes the episode worth it. And honestly, I would highly recommend it to anybody, not only Muppet fans, to go check this out, but also, if you're a fan of Monty Python, if you're a fan of John Cleese, then absolutely check this episode out. Uh, for me, like, who is all, like, who also, not only a fan of The Muppet Show, but also a fan of Monty Python's Flying Circus, I find this to be 
fantastic. This is amazing. This is a great episode. And probably for me, this is a highlight of the season. So I am really happy with this episode right here. But anyways, that is pretty much going to be it for this episode. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Muppet Vlog. And we will see for next time if uh, the special guest star can stand out as much as John Cleese. So I just want to say now, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, see you later, dudes!